All right, real quick, I see a lot of people talking about the LG C10 and how they're future-proof for the next generation of console gaming. I'm going to double down, I'm going to triple down and infinite down and just say you are not fully supported for the next generation of console gaming on an LG C10. In fact, you are not supported at all for the next generation of console gaming when you talk about variable refresh rates. So even though it says G-Sync on the box, that means nothing for you. Why is that, Quantum? Well, good question. You see, LG is rocking the NVIDIA G-Sync technology. FreeSync is AMD technology. And the next generation consoles are running off of AMD technologies. So if you want to see variable refresh rate, you have to buy a FreeSync TV. Unlike PC gamers like myself, where you can have a manufacturer specific or rather a company specific driver given to you. For example, recently NVIDIA had a driver that they released for 20 series and 16 series graphics cards so that we can use Samsung TVs with our NVIDIA graphics cards. Unless something like that happens on console, you're not going to be seeing that. So the reality is you're hoping that these game developers didn't strike some sort of partnership with AMD to exclusively use AMD technologies on their machines. You're hoping that manufacturers like LG would make some sort of specific patch that would allow you to be able to utilize whatever type of device you wanted with their display. And the reality is at this point in time, nothing like that exists or is even rumored to be about. The reality is you need to stick with the technologies that they tell you to. That's like buying a HDR 10 plus movie and putting it in a Dolby Vision player. It's just not going to work. It needs to be compatible technology with what you have. And I know it can get confusing sometimes if you're new to this. So I wanted to make this video to kind of address this because I see a lot. Guys, I'm not even joking. I feel bad for you. I see a lot of people saying, hey, I just bought the C10, ready for Xbox Series X, ready for PS5, woo. The reality is you're not ready for anything, my dudes, except for HDMI 2.1. And for that, you might as well buy any other HDMI 2.1 TV on the market, because seriously. Uh, now, let's talk about the alternative here, because it's not all negative, okay? You want an OLED, I understand. You're looking at the C10 because you want an OLED. Okay, then buy the Vizio OLED. Vizio is going to come with FreeSync technology and HDMI 2.1. Problem solved. But please don't feed into the mainstream narrative by these AV enthusiasts and these AV reporters telling you that this is compatible with next generation consoles or good for console gamers. It's not, and that is a lie. It is a blatant, factual lie to sell the product. Social media influencing is the marketing and influencing of consumers to buy a product. It should be illegal. But it's not illegal. If you choose to believe somebody you met on the internet, that's kind of your fault. And I'm here as the grand equalizer to kind of be the sheriff, if you will, in all this BS that I see on the internet in the AV space. It'd let you know that don't do that. There is a better alternative that will give you exactly what you're looking for. So don't have you don't have to return anything. You don't have to lug it up and down the stairs, break anything apart. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking out for you. Now, with that being the case, there's another thing I want you guys to do. Lower your expectations for HDMI 2.1. I see way too much emphasis being put on that. Okay, HDMI 2.1 is great for maybe somebody looking for lossless files of eARC, right? Uh, Dolby Atmos specifically. But honestly, if you're talking about resolutions and things like that, people are talking about 8K, people are talking about 4K, 120 hertz. There are no consumer pieces of content right now that you can really take advantage of 4K 120. Everything's still at the gaming front capped at 60 FPS. If you're hoping these next generation consoles are going to change that, you're going to be disappointed. The most powerful GPU right now is an RTX 2080 Ti, and that sees frame rate dips down into the 40s, especially once you start activating ray tracing. Simply put, next gen technology such as ray tracing, variable rate shaders, deep learning, all this stuff needs power. And when you're talking about power, you only have so much of it on these new machines and they don't beat the brand of NVIDIA graphics cards at the highest end, particularly the RTX 2080 series. Um, and that's just as real as it gets, my dudes. Now, I hope that by giving this information out, it kind of clarified a few things. I know I've seen questions like here and there and like, Honestly, my dudes, it, it, I feel bad for these people. I do. Like, don't, don't get yourself jammed up buying an LG. 
just wait for the Vizio, buy that. Even though they don't have the experience yet, it's still the LG panel that you love so much, so you'll be good to go there. That being said, this video is dragged on long enough. It was supposed to be short, just trying to help you guys out. But anyway, thank you for watching the number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.